Hey guys, and welcome back today to another video. Apologies, I've not really been uploading much recently. I've said a few times on Twitter and in my daily vlogs over on my vlogging channel that I've not really been feeling FIFA as much recently. And I don't want to post content on this channel for you guys that is just there because you expect a video. I think what I really want to do now here is focus on the quality, focus on stuff I'm really passionate about and something I am really passionate about which leads right into today's video is football and my team Chelsea who yet again got beat at home to Bournemouth 1-0 in the Premier League. Now I was actually yesterday at a tennis event at the Royal Albert Hall. The vlog's going to be going up on my channel. I had a hit with Andy Murray and stuff like that. Good fun. You guys won't want to miss it so if you're not subscribed I'm going to leave a link in the description. But I was looking at it on my phone. Oaklefish was there and I said you know what I know this game is going to finish 0-0 or 1-0 to Bournemouth and Glenn Murray steps up in the 82nd minute and nods in an arguably offside goal. I did ask people on Twitter what they thought. The majority of the consensus was it was offside, but it was marginal and it could have been given either way. So I think with things like that, you've just got to completely eliminate all excuses. And Chelsea at home to Bournemouth, under no circumstance should an excuse be what saves you and realizing that your team is actually bloody awful, which pains me to say it, we are disgracefully bad. And I think in the first half, from the reports that I've read, the highlights I've seen, it was the softest Chelsea performance that I have ever seen. The second half, well, we just got beat. Like, what is going on? I, I don't know whether it is Mourinho, whether it's the players. I think the players just turned up to the start of the season overweight. And that is the reason why we've not been sharp. Hazard is only just starting to get his fitness back, in my opinion, which means he isn't really ready to carry the team like he was last season. The only player that is actually doing a job is Willian. Now, I've made my feelings clear about the bloke. I think he's an absolute legend, I think, from maybe January of this year, actually. He was the guy in the second half of last season that carried the team. Every single performance, he's an engine, he runs everywhere, and for me, without Willian, we literally would already be relegated, you know? Him, he, his free kicks aside, the job he does for the team, we could actually have been relegated if we didn't have Willian in the team. It is scary, and I'm not enjoying being a Chelsea fan at this moment in time. Going to the game against Porto, on Wednesday and I'm going to be supporting the boys like I always do. I'm actually going to be in a box for the game so I'm not able to like go absolutely mental because it's more of a corporate thing but um, I'm going to be enjoying it and hopefully we manage to beat Porto and progress into the next round of the Champions League because right now with Leicester going absolutely crazy that I, honestly every week I'm like they're going to slip up. They're going to slip up. Vardy he had an awful day yesterday. He didn't bloody score, did he? But Mares, you know, if you've got Vardy scoring goals, and if Vardy isn't scoring goals, Riyad Mares is going to come up and net you a hat trick. They've actually got a good thing going on. I'm going to do a separate video about who I actually think is going to win the league because it may surprise a lot of you guys. And it isn't Leicester. It isn't Man City. Make a guess from that of what you will. Who do you think? is going to win the Premier League title. I'm going to do my video on it, but I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Who is going to win the Premier League this season? It's certainly not going to be Chelsea. And I also put a bet on yesterday that we would finish in the top four, which I am regretting now, to say the least. We're, we're just, but Man City were beaten as well. 2-0 against Stoke. Jordan Shakiri finally showing why Stoke decided to splash a load of money on him. He looked brilliant. On out of it, she basically is just poor man's Ibrahimovic. I think I can't remember who I saw say that on Twitter, but I was like, you know what? That is a very good statement. The hair, the attitude, everything about him is poor man's Ibra. I'm actually watching the Liverpool game behind the camera right now. It's nil-nil against Newcastle. By the time this video has gone up, you guys are going to know the score there. But they're looking pretty decent. I also think Arsenal as well. They did win 3-1. Giroud scored an own goal, made up for it by scoring another one down the other end, I think. Despite all the injuries... Arsenal looking really good right now, and uh, no hint, I don't actually think they're going to win the title either. So who is it? Who do I think is going to win the league? That is my thoughts and feelings about Chelsea and about the Premier League right now. It is so, from a neutral perspective, it is amazing because anyone can beat anyone, anyone can finish in the top four, anyone can win the league, and it's just a shame it's not my team that are challenging for even a place in the top half right now. We'll be, we'll be lucky to get top half if we carry on like this. Yeah, roll on Wednesday night. I'm going to be daily vlogging the game over on my vlog channel. I've literally been posting every single day on my vlog channel because it's something I'm really passionate about. And those of you guys that have come over to that channel have really, really enjoyed it. So if you do want to come over and check out what I'm doing every single day, be sure to go and check the top link in the description. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do a live reaction from the ground that I'm going to post after the game on Wednesday night or on Thursday on this channel as well. So not only are you going to see a daily vlog, you will see my reactions from the Champions League. But yeah, I've got a new FIFA video coming out for you guys tomorrow. 
And uh, yeah, this is a hard one to make because it's just, I don't know when I'm going to be able to make a positive video about Chelsea. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Guys, and this little one here has got a dissertation to start writing, don't you? <laughs> All the enthusiasm just drifting from us right now. Alright, so we're going to sign out the vlog now. We've got work to do. We're going to catch you guys tomorrow where I'm going to be going to the Royal Albert Hall to vlog an awesome tennis event called Tiebreak 10. 